How do we graph a linear relationship? At this point, if you were given an equation to graph, you'd make a little table and determine some of the points using the equation. A minimum of two points, but usually three or four is good to check ourselves. And then you would plot your points. The last step, draw a line through all of the points. If the points came from a linear equation, they're going to all line up and we're good to go. And that works. But there is a faster way that will allow you to produce graphs much easier. Once you learn this new method, you can skip the making of a table and be able to visualize the graph just by looking at the equation. So let's give it a try. Our new method of graphing a linear equation involves slope and y-intercepts. Now we've recently reviewed slope, so let's just take a moment to make sure we're clear on what a y-intercept is. The y-intercept of a line is where that line intercepts the y-axis, that is, the y-intercept. Recall that intercept means where things cross, so the y-intercept is where the line intercepts or crosses the y-axis. Fairly easy to remember. In our equation to graph, the y-intercept is just this number at the end, the 3. And the slope is the number being multiplied by the x, in this case, a plus 2. And it's always true that if our equation is in the form y equals mx plus b, that is, the y is by itself on the left-hand side, and some number, our m, is multiplied by x, or whatever variable we're using, and then another number is at the end by itself, and we call this one b, then we know that m is our slope, or the number being multiplied by the variable here is our slope. And the other number out at the end by itself is our y-intercept. So that makes it very easy. Knowing this, we can see right away that with this equation, the slope is plus 2 and the y-intercept is plus 3. To graph this one, we can, first of all, plot the y-intercept. Here at plus 3, that is, the line will be intercepting or crossing the y-axis right here. And from this point, we can look at the slope. Now the slope is 2, or can be written as 2 over 1. Rise of 2, run of 1. And we can make our second point based on that. Run 1, rise 2, and there's our second point. Then we just draw our line through those points, and we've graphed our line. No table involved. With some practice, you'll find this method really fast. Let's try another. Graph y equals 3 over 4x minus 2. We think y equals mx plus b. And right away, we can identify the y-intercept, or b, as negative 2. And plot it right here. And the slope, or m, is 3 over 4. So from our y-intercept, we run 4 and then rise 3, and we make our second point. And now we can just draw our line right through it. See how quick that was? Another one. We're asked to graph 2y equals negative 1x. Now, first of all, we recognize that this one isn't in our y equals mx plus b format. That is, the y isn't by itself. So let's do one extra step to get it into that format. First of all, let's divide by 2. So on the left, we now have y equals, and on the right, we have negative 1 over 2x. And so now we can see that in this case, the slope is negative 1 over 2. But where is the b? We don't have a b here. So the y-intercept must be, well, it must be 0. Let's plot that at y equals 0 right here on the origin. 
and that's our y-intercept. Our slope in this case, that is the number being multiplied by x, is negative one-half. So we have a run of two and a rise of negative one, which means we'll be going down one. And we'll make our second point, and we can draw our line through it. One more. Let's graph y equals three. Now this one's a bit confusing in that we don't have a variable x anywhere. So that makes it hard to tell. What is the three, our m or our b? Well, since our three is not being multiplied by our variable x, the three must be our b. That is, it's all by itself there. And therefore, we don't have an m in our equation. So that means the slope must be, well, it must be zero, because then zero times the x, and that would make that term all disappear. So that would make sense. So what does a line with a slope of zero look like? We think back. A positive slope means that we rise up as we go to the right. A negative slope means that we drop as we go to the right. A zero slope is the one right in between. It's flat or it's horizontal. So let's plot our y-intercept, our b, at plus three. And from there, since it has a zero slope, our second point could be anywhere as long as it's on the horizontal. We'll draw it like this, and we're all done. In this tutorial, we were introduced to a tool that will save us a lot of time, being able to think about the slope-intercept, or y equals mx plus b form, means that we can look at a linear equation and quickly visualize or plot the graph. And we do this without even making a table. Now this will prove useful for the rest of your academic career in dealing with all kinds of linear relationships, which are very common.